I'm sitting here at the Sea of Galilee, a place where Peter, James, and John received their call to the full-time ministry. And I want to talk to you about the call. There is a supernatural call that God places upon young men and young women to give themselves full-time to the work of God. It amazes me as I look around the world today to hear stories like, number one, that in the United States, they're losing a, a, a net loss of 5,000 pastors a year to the church. And I recently met a denominational official from Hong Kong who told me that the youngest pastor in their movement was now 40 years old. I recently spoke to a missionary who had just come back from Japan, and he told me that the youngest pastor in their entire movement was 60 years old, and the one who was considered a child was almost 50 years old. Now, brothers and sisters, this does not bode well for the future of the Church of Jesus Christ, because too many people that are stepping into the ministry are, are people who are presenters and they are speakers, but there is no supernatural call of God upon their lives. I want to challenge you with what the call is really all about from this auspicious place, a place where Jesus called Peter, come follow me, I'll make you fishers of men, a place where Peter and Andrew and James and John all received a call. We're sitting here just outside of the ancient village of Capernaum, right along the shores where all of this took place. The story begins with Jesus wanting to do some teaching, and the work of God was hindered because the crowd was so great that his voice could not carry and people could not hear, and he wanted to be able to teach well. So he looked at Peter and said, Peter, can I, can I borrow your boat? And that's one of the first lessons you learned about the call of God. It, it comes to people who are willing to serve. It doesn't come to people who, who don't care about the work of God. It comes to people that are willing to sacrifice to serve. Though Peter and his crew on the boat had worked hard all night, they'd caught nothing, they were discouraged, they were despondent, whatever, that Jesus wanted to use the boat was the only thing that mattered. So they helped Jesus and they worked hard and they kept the boat stable and straight so that Jesus could speak. And then Jesus said, come on, Peter, let, let's go out. And he took them out and he said, now, cast your nets. They said, Jesus, we've worked hard all night, but because you say we'll do it, we'll do it. That's the second truth. A call comes to people who are willing to obey. When Peter did, he caught such a large catch of fish, he had to call partners to come and help. And you see a third lesson, that people who are called to the ministry are people who have generous hearts. They're not competitive, selfish people. They're people who have generous hearts and are willing to share. And then when they came back in with this great boat, and Peter had the greatest catch of fish in his life, and prosperity was flowing, Jesus said, now, I want you to walk away from all that. Come follow me, and I'll make you a fisher of men. Thank you for joining us today. Catch daily devotions every Monday to Sunday at 9.30 a.m., 5.30 p.m., and 9.30 p.m. on DZBR, 5.31 a.m., or visit www.bible.radio. On April 15, Good Friday, we invite you to the annual School of the Cross in all Cathedral of Praise campuses. Learn the real story, the biblical truths and historical facts surrounding the sacrifice and triumph of Jesus Christ on the cross. Plan the trip of a lifetime. See the Bible come to life and join COP Israel Tour 2023. For inquiries, message us now at 0998-583-9781 or at facebook.com slash cop.israeltour. You may also send an email to israeltour at cathedralofpraise.com.ph.